It is April 10th, 2019. Let me recap yesterday, which was April 9th. Um, that was a Tuesday. Uh, yesterday, April 9th, was TN, my dating anniversary. And it's been 20 years. Gosh, 20 years. Um, so, for dinner, I... I made, because our, our first date was uh, Olive Garden, so I kind of made Italian food. Um, not typical spaghetti. I got, I think it was tortellini, uh, the ones with the little cheese inside, and I made that and got some salad and some Olive Garden salad dressing. So we had that for dinner when she finally got home from her Zumba. Um, also, I began entering the tax information, I finally finished everything, tax information into TurboTax. So I'm in the final stretch. Uh, I just need to purchase the home and business upgrade to do Tia's uh, business deductions. Um, but I was waiting until, you know, it was that time. So everything is in, our personal stuff is in, so now we gotta go over and do all of her deductions. And Here's the hope, and we'll get something decent back. So, anyway, all right, on to today, April 10th. First, I did not do taxes all day today. Honestly, um, after Tia, it was weird. Last night, I went to sleep about the same time as Tia, so I was asleep by about 11.30 or 12. When I woke up this morning, I was so sleepy and I don't know why. I mean, it might have been because of all the carbs we ate last night for dinner. That might have been it. Um, but she left for work at 7.30, whatever time it was. And I kind of sat on the couch for a few minutes, watched a couple of YouTube videos. And then I went back upstairs and I got in the bed. I think it was like 9 o'clock. And man, I was... I could barely keep my eyes open, so I just kind of laid my phone down, and then I closed my eyes, and 12-something, I think it was like 12.30 rolled around, and I finally opened my eyes, and I was like, huh. I, I mean, I passed out for a few hours, so 9, 10, 10, 11, 11 12, it was three or four hours. I don't remember if I woke up at 12 or 12.30 or 1, but it was pretty late. So as soon as I got up, I immediately started to get my stuff together so I could go out and mow the grass. But then I went out into the garage and I was like, hmm, I don't think this gas is fresh. Like I couldn't remember if whenever I went out that first day when I realized that the tailpipe was broken that I had filled it up with gas, but I don't think I did because there was almost no gas in that tank. Um, there's like that much in there. So uh, basically I, I immediately got the gas can and I went to the gas station and got some gas. Then I got back home and I started to, I pulled the, the lawnmower out. I was going to fill it up with gas. First though, I noticed that since that gas was old, I better drain it because I don't want to use that old gas that's been sitting in there all winter long. You know, this much, it's probably nothing burnable in it and it's probably turpentine at this point. So I drained it and then I put new gas in and then I tried to turn on the lawnmower and nothing happened nothing at all so I was like hmm well first thing let's try the battery I, I actually connected the battery to the car to try to charge it up a little bit it wasn't the battery the battery was fine um, I did a little crossover thing with some whatever to see if if I get the starter to turn and I just did that and it goes Vroom! so it was obviously a sensor so I go around and I look at all the sensors and I found one sensor that was right under where the key turn is, and it wasn't even connected. I don't know how it got disconnected, but it was not connected. So I plugged it back in. <sighs> Try it again. Nothing. So then I checked all the sensors. Like, I took my multimeter, and I was checking all the sensors, and all of them were fine. I think the one that was under the seat might have been loose a little bit, because I was able to unscrew that one with my hand. I didn't have to use a tool or anything. So that might not have been the whole way on, but it shouldn't matter. 
Now, that shouldn't matter whenever I'm actually... That's only a sensor for having the thing down, so I don't think that was it. But um, the one that's in the back under the motor, that one's always giving me trouble. I think it gets hot, and it's just it wears out faster, so I'm just going to have to buy like five of those things and replace them every year. But uh, that ended up being the one that was broken. Um, or it's, I don't know if it was broken or it was giving me issues. That was the one that was giving issue. So it, I did some stuff with it and, and started working and the lawnmower turned right on. So cool. So while I was mowing the grass, good freaking Lord, there were so many of those West Nile mosquitoes. I mean, it was like they were everywhere. Anytime I'd go under a tree or anywhere that doesn't get as much sun to get rid of some of the water, they were, I'd roll past it and they would just flock like birds flocking out of a tree. I don't know how they didn't eat me up. I, I don't have a bite on me that I can tell. So I don't, I don't know how I, I was able to escape that because they were every and the, the ones that are like that big. And um, I was all over the yard. Like anywhere a tree was covering grass, they were all over the yard. So hopefully, since I've kind of scurried them all out of there, that won't be an issue every single week I try to mow the grass, so. <sighs> Cheese and crackers. So I get done, come inside, I'm still waiting for my package to get here. Let me move over to this. So I have a package coming from Wise. Wise, these guys right here. Tracking, they're using some like mail innovations thing. I don't know what it is exactly because I got a USPS and a UPS tracking number. They both say the same thing. They both say currently it is sitting in Tacoma, Washington. It was supposed to be delivered by the end of the day on Wednesday. That is today. Wednesday, April 10th. Currently, let's see, it, the, the label was made at on 4-5-2019, which was last Friday, I think. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, last Friday. That's when I, I, I purchased, the purchase was made on the 4th. Then I I got the notification, then um, all these random things that basically say the same thing, and then on the 6th, it says, package transferred to destination UPS mail innovation facility. I don't know what that is exactly, but um, then I've been watching this little line right here has been going across, and it was supposed to be delivered today. It was not. And I checked the USPS website, maybe it got transferred to there, I don't know. Nope, it is not. It is still, both of these say still in Tacoma, Washington. The last thing that was done was on April 5th, UPS, April 6th. So then I messaged uh, Wise on Facebook and I said, what is going on with your shipping people? I've purchased from you twice and twice my shipping has gotten screwed up. Last time I ordered from them, it took like two and a half weeks to get here. According to the tracking, the package is still in Washington and Mail Innovations. It's supposed to be delivered today. So I also sent them screenshots of the, the tracking, and they said, thanks for reaching out to us, Brandon. Uh, we're sorry to hear that you're having a problem with your order. May we get the order number so we can have our team look into this and find out where your packages are? So I sent them the order, and I, I guess the 15 minutes it took me to respond to that uh, they had already left for the day. I don't know. So hopefully I'll hear back from them tomorrow. And if not, I'm just going to send a message to them again and be like, you know, it's now a day later and I still haven't received my package. So um, whenever I tried to do it, anything on UPS, it says you need to contact the original seller. So here we are. I like the products. Their shipping sucks. Like, they could have shipped through priority mail to me for half the price in two or three days. But instead they do this, whatever this crap is. Um, all right, so six around six o'clock uh, before Tia got home, I think she had Zumba tonight at Strong at the Croc Center. 
And uh, I was like, well, I'm going to cut my hair. I cut the grass, now I'm going to cut my hair. So I got rid of this mop that I had the other day. My hair was corrupt, Stacy. I wonder if I have... Oh, here, here it is. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Hopefully this doesn't screw up anything. So, here's my mop from the other day. I don't know. Maybe it's not as moppy as I think it is. But it was mop. Like, I could literally pull my little Elvis ears out like this, and it would come out like this far. It, it was pretty long. But, anyway, I had a haircut. So then Tia got home about 7.45 or 8, and we ate leftovers from what we had last night from our anniversary dinner. And Tia got in bed about 10, 10.30. I think it was about 10 o'clock she got in bed. And I laid in there and watched videos for YouTube videos for a while. And then I, um, I ha I'm in the office now, obviously, it's like 11.30 on April 10th. And I have got no video together for tomorrow. This seems to be a new thing. Is I'm, I'm doing uh, procrastination on these, these YouTube videos, mostly because I've been working on the taxes. But so I have uh, done no video for this week or this Thursday, so I have to put one together on some, from some stuff that we have. Um, so depending on what time I finish that, I'm going to work on some appraisals, maybe. So... With that said, I will see you sometime tomorrow, the next day. I don't know.